sharing with you my updated hair care routine. I try to do these at least once or twice a year so you guys know the products that I've been using and everything. If you want to see all my old ones, I will list those down below for you all. But my hair care routine has pretty much changed drastically. I've been doing a lot of different things, really trying to get my hair healthy, and I just wanted to share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I just wanted to start off by saying I have stopped coloring my hair. I don't know if I ever, I don't think I ever mentioned it actually in a video. I did do a blog post about it, about how I dye my hair at home. I was buying the hair dye, um, I think it was Clairol or something, which was really good from Sally's. And I really liked the way my hair was turning out and everything. I thought it was a really great color. My mom was dyeing it for me. And I wasn't using box dyes or anything because I know those are really bad for your hair. Um, so it was a lot healthier. It lasted a really long time because it was permanent dye. But my hair has been falling out really bad and I've been trying to find ways to fix it so it doesn't fall out so bad and it's just been thinning. Um, not to where I can see it on my scalp or anything, but I can just tell my actual, I just can tell I have less hair. And it's really upsetting because I've always had really thick hair my whole life. One of the ways to really change my hair and get it healthier to keep it from falling out, I stopped dyeing it. Because after I would wash it out when I would dye it, a lot of it would fall out just from pulling the dye through and everything and brushing it and shampooing it. So um, I stopped doing that. I've also only been using sulfate free shampoo, which you guys know I've done that for a couple years now since I switched off of that. The weird thing is though, I feel like since I've switched away from sulfate free shampoo, that's when my hair has started thinning, which is weird because sulfates are supposed to cause thinning. So I don't know if it's like a reverse thing with my hair, I'm not sure, it might have nothing to do with it. But I still like using the sulfate free stuff for my curls since it's a lot better for curly hair. Um, I've also been taking hair, skin, and nail vitamins, and those have been helping my hair a lot too because it has biotin in it. I've talked about biotin many times before, but I found some that I actually really like. These are the ones I've been using that I really like because they're a gel capsule and they're smaller, so they're a whole lot easier to take because I kind of got out of the habit of taking them when I had those really big natural pills that didn't have a coating on them because it was such a pain and it was gross. These are really easy to take. I just take one with dinner and that's it. And it has 10,000 MCGs of biotin. So I really like those. It's by the brand Nature's Bounty. And that seems to really help my hair growth. I actually need a trim. My mom's going to trim it because I'm actually home right now, if you didn't notice the background. But um, she's going to trim it. But it seems to be growing a lot faster. I've noticed my roots are coming in quicker. Now let me just get started with what I've been shampooing and conditioning my hair with. If you guys haven't seen my Wee Dad review, I actually did a review on their color preserving shampoo and conditioner. That's when I was still coloring my hair. I love that stuff for if you have color treated hair. It really helps to preserve the color of your hair. But since I switched away from coloring my hair, I decided to try out just their standard curl quencher shampoo and conditioner. I really love this. I especially like this conditioner. It's very moisturizing. The shampoo lathers up really well too. And it still cleans your hair very good even though it is sulfate free. Um, if you read the ingredients, it does say ammonium laurel sulfate, which I know is actually a milder sulfate to where it will still suds up and clean your hair, but it's very mild. It's not gonna, it's not enough of a sulfate to strip the oils from your hair. So I really love that about these shampoo and conditioners. It's just very moisturizing. Uh, I feel like even after I use the shampoo, my hair isn't extremely dry feeling, so I don't feel like I need to cake on the conditioner. Um, so I use less conditioner than I would normally use. So I usually let that sit in my hair while I'm washing my body and everything in the shower. And then afterwards, I will go through my hair with a wide tooth comb. And this, I think I just got like at Walmart or something, but it's a very um, wide tooth, so it's not going to totally pull out your curls. It's not going to um, tangle in your hair or anything. And it hang. But I definitely recommend trying out one of these. They're just using your fingers to distribute the conditioner through your hair and just to detangle and everything. Um, but I still do lose a lot of hair even when I do this. So... Uh, but I can't stand the way it feels when it's super knotted and stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions for a lot of hair falling out in the um, shower, if you have curly hair, definitely let me know. I know curly haired people lose hair a lot more frequently than regular hair does because it doesn't, it's not easy for it to just fall out throughout the day. It stays in your hair. I know it's actually normal to shed a lot, but I actually feel like mine is thinner. So that's really why I was worried. So this stuff I've been doing has been helping, but it's definitely not totally worked for me yet. So that will probably be an update video in a few months or so to show you guys all the stuff that I've been doing. And if it's actually made a difference, I'm still kind of in the process, but I figured I would still show you guys what I've been doing. So then when I get out of the shower, I like to put my hair up in a um, t-shirt, which is what I've done for a while now. I showed that in my last hair care routine video. It really helps to not pull out your curls and not just make your hair go straight when it's drying. And it also keeps the frizz from forming and everything from a towel. So I really like using um, a t-shirt to dry my hair. And then after a few minutes of it being up in the t-shirt, I will take it down. And I use these clips I got for free from Wee Dad when I placed an order. But you can find these little claw clips anywhere, like at Sally's or anything. But I love these for adding volume to the top of my hair. So as I'm getting ready, like doing my makeup and stuff and my hair is drying, 
I will just place these in my hair. You just want to open it a little bit like that and then push the top of it up and just leave it. That way it will dry like that and I do this all down the side of my head and I do a few in the back. It came with six but you could do as many as you wanted to. And I pretty much wait for my hair to dry probably 70% before I start putting my products in and I will take these out and then that's when I use um, my curl creams. So the clips really make a difference even if you have straight hair it's a really great way to air dry your hair and add volume if you have like flat roots because I hate the way curly hair looks when it's flat on the top and then it gets like poofier at the bottom so those have really been helping and I love that. Uh, but my favorite curl cream that I've been using forever I've gone through so many of these but this is the L'Oreal Ever Curl Sulfate Free Sculpt and Hold Cream Gel and I really like cream gels because it's still moisturizing and it's not too crunchy or anything. Um, and I like having a curl cream to really define my curls and everything. I tried out the We Dad Curl Cream and I really liked it, but it is expensive. And I just had like a little sample of it and I already used it up. So I didn't want to mention that one because it's like $13. And as much as I go through curl cream, I can't afford to get that all the time. So this is a great alternative. It's cheaper at the drugstore. It's like $6 or $7. Um, try to get it on sale if you can or if you have coupons. And I just love it. It smells really good. It has really great hold and I notice it does help to redefine my curls and everything after it's dry. And I like to kind of wait for my hair to dry, like I said, about 70%. That way I only put product where I need it. I don't end up totally covering my hair so it's not too crunchy. And I can just let the curls shrink up naturally and then add that whole gel in there. And then just to finish it off, and kind of as a leave-in conditioner, I really like the L'Oreal Ever Curl Silk and Gloss Dual Oil Care. And this is nice because it's like an oil kind of... Not creamy oil, but like a serum, but it's a spray type of thing. You just shake it up, and it makes your hair really shiny. I really like the way it makes my hair feel. It's very silky, but this is removable with sulfate-free shampoo. Both of these products are. You want to use hair products that are designed to use with sulfate-free shampoo, or else it won't be able to remove it, and your hair will get weighed down, or you will get build up at your scalp. So that's why I like using these, and I just use this. That's all I use. So normally, I just let my hair air dry, like I said, with the clips. But if I want to just do something a little extra to my hair just to feel nicer, or if I'm going to be going somewhere and I want it to be a little bit fancier, I will use a curling wand. I don't do this every day, though, because I don't like to use heat on my hair. Um, this is by Hot Tools. You can find it on Amazon. It's really cheap. I think it's around $20 or $30, and it's just the tapered one. I believe this is the medium one, not the small one, because it is about... Um, an inch and a half or so around this bottom part and then it tapers down and gets smaller so I've done a ton of hair tutorials using this I will link my hair tutorials for you guys down below to show you guys how I do that with my hair when it is just natural just to enhance the curls like I said I don't like to use heat on my hair I've pretty much stopped straightening and blow drying my hair I hardly ever straighten it anymore because it has gotten so thin so when I do straighten it, it just looks flat and dull so I like having volume with it when it's curly and it's a lot healthier just that way I've just gotten used to it it's just so much easier for me to just leave it natural this is some Something that I just picked up recently. I found this on Hot Look because they had it on sale on there and I also had some credits to use. This is also by We Dad and it's their Salon Series and it's their Biotin Lightweight Reparative Hair Serum. This is really expensive on We Dad's website. I think it's like $50 to $70 or something ridiculous. Um, but I found it on Hot Look, like I said, and I think I only ended up paying like $13 for it after my credits and also um, they had it on sale. So you might want to check that. Um, website for it. I will have my sign up link down below if you want to check it out. So that's the way to do it if you want to buy something like this. But this is a biotin oil. So it says on here it's supposed to help um, strengthen your hair shaft and it's also supposed to help make your hair grow. So it's the biotin but in an oil form. So I just take a few drops of this on my palm and I just rub it into my scalp before bed. I've been doing about every other night just because I don't want to use it up. But I don't know. It just smells really good. And I've read some good reviews on this. Um, I will definitely let you guys know how this ends up working for me. Um, because I definitely am interested to see how it's going to end up working because I've been trying a lot of different things. Another thing that I've recently been doing, I don't have the jar here to show you guys because I didn't bring it with me traveling, but coconut oil. You get extra virgin coconut oil from the drugstore or Walmart or anything. I think that's where I got mine. You want to get the organic too, of course. And all you do is you put that in water to let it kind of melt a little bit. I put it in the sink filled up with hot water. And I've been applying that to my hair once a week. It's like the best deep conditioning treatment and it smells good. It smells like you're putting Almond Joy on your head or something. But it's really helping my hair to just be stronger. And I read online that that's supposed to help with hair thinning as well if you do it really frequently. So I've been doing that once or twice a week. And then I just shampoo and condition my hair afterwards. And it just makes my hair feel so soft. Like I don't even feel like I need hair products because it really helps to tame that frizz. And I don't get any buildup or anything from it. The shampoo can easily remove it. 
that I use. So I just love doing that. And I definitely recommend you guys trying it out, whether if you have straight or curly hair, just as a really nice deep conditioning treatment that's natural and really affordable to use. So all the products are going to be linked on my blog, which is the, is the first link down below. And then I also have pictures and stuff on there if you guys want to see up close of what my hair looks like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And definitely leave me comments below if you have any suggestions about hair thinning or tell me what your favorite hair products are because I would love to know. Um, even if you have straight hair, just let people know in the comments what your tips are and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.